Today we're going to be going over the Golden Samuel attack technique. Uh, this is a technique where an attacker may try to abuse an identity service provider such as ADFS to gain illegitimate access to services which use this identity provider for access. To perform this attack we're going to need some key pieces of information. The first pieces that we need to perform the attack are actually the DKM key, which is also known as the Distributed Key Manager key. This is essentially a private key for the token signing key that we see here, or this is just like an encrypted PFX, basically, that's in a sort of blob format. So what we're going to do is going to go straight in on how to get these inf these pieces of information and export them from Active Directory and from ADFS. So what we're going to use is we're going to use a tool called ADFS dump for that. But before that, what we need to do is actually find out, and I'm just going to show you easily on the services snap in here, is find out what the ADFS service account is and what it's running as. So you can see here that we're running as domain backslash AADC SVC dollar. And so that indicates that we're using a group managed service account configured. So there are a few different ways to get this password. Um, you know, we could use a DC sync or we could just get the password from, you know, LDAP query if we uh, get the permissions to view the managed service account password. But for now, we're just going to open up Mimikatz and uh, just go locally and extract the hash that way. And the reason why we need to do this is because to access the information we need, we need to access the Windows internal database, um, which uh, is you know running also on here, and that is only accessible by the uh, by the ADFS service account, and not by just your standard administrator access. So we're going to go into my tools folder here, um, and then we've got. Mimikatz, and we're going to do privilege, um, privilege debug to get our debug privilege. This allows us to access uh, what we need to for extracting the, uh, sorry, extracting the uh, service hash. And then we're going to get secure LSA module and I'm going to use the logon passwords. And what this does it just oh, it just exports every single piece of information it can from memory and we're going to scroll pretty much all the way to the top and then what we're going to do is look for our AADC account SVC and you can see here we have the NTLM hash for that account so now we can use a pass the hash again we can just do this from mimikatz secure lsa pth and then we're going to do user and then we're going to go uh it's aadc svc dollar and then we go domain and that domain is domain dot local so that's a fully qualified domain and then we're going to use uh the NTLM to specify the NTLM hash that I just copied from the output of the previous command. And what this will do is this will open a nice command prompt window for us as, or you know, uh, in, uh, as the ADFS service account. So now what we're going to do is go in, back into this tools folder that we've got, um, and then here we've got ADFS dump. So this is a tool that was written by FireEye. Uh, couple of years ago or so and this what this does is it will connect to the windows internal database and extract the information for the encrypted pfx which is the uh, token signing key uh, i'll also reach out to active directory to get the distributed key manager key um, that if you're interested that is stored in the uh, program data, uh, Microsoft and ADFS container, um, and that will extract the uh, private key from there. So I'm just going to run this, 
And then what we should see is it also, sorry, I should have said this, it also extracts um, rules and stuff from ADFS as well. But really, all we're interested in are these private keys and the encrypted token signing key. So what we're going to do here is, once this is the info that we need, it's not in the correct format. So to export this to correct format, I'm just going to do this really easily using a um, little website called HexEdit, uh, or, you know, hexed.it. And what you can do is you can just paste this in here, and we're going to go create new file, and then we're going to change this to hexadecimal values because it's byte representation of hexadecimal values. And then we get this lovely output. So what we're going to do is just save this output. And just to be clear, uh, before I save this, you shouldn't have any trailing zeros or anything here. This should just be, you know, these two lines with the, you know, the uh, things matching here. If there's any extra values, you need to make sure to get rid of those. And I'm just going to save this as dkm.bin. And that is all we need to do for that dkm file. So ne the next one is we're going to do the encrypted token signing key. And we're just going to copy this whole key here. And then this key is represented in base64. So we're just going to, again, paste this into hex edit, create a new file. Um, you can see we're going to interpret this as base64 encoded. And you can see we've got our encoded format here. So we're just going to save this. And I'm going to save this uh, as tks.bin just to keep them separate so that's our main piece of information there that we actually need from adfs to generate our uh, saml tokens and so what we need now i know i haven't included them here because uh, you know they're in the files but what we're going to need now is to get our user information so this is our user who we want to impersonate on our target service, which will be um, Azure, the, just the Azure portal. And we need the, the domain. So all of this sort of comes out all together. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to go back to my Mimikatz window, and then I'm just going to clear. And I know that I want to impersonate this user called ADA Fox. So let's go ADA Fox. I'm going to find them in Active Directory. And we can see here that we've got an object grid of this. So I'm just going to chuck that in here. And then we can see that the user principal name is this, and it's stealthbitslab.com. And, you know, what we can do for the domain just to make sure it is working with ADFS, we can literally, uh, just from anywhere, you know, we can pick this and you can see that it's taking us to our organization's signing page. So this is essentially what, you know, we're going to attempt to bypass with the golden SAML. And so I won't actually sign into this for now. Uh, but you can see that, it, you know, it's taken us to a sign in page that it's expecting us to have. So, so we know that stealthbitslab.com is the actual domain that's working correctly. So stealthbitslab.com. Now, we have all of this information. Um, what we need to do is we need to actually take this over. Well, you can do this in Windows, but I've got this all set up in, uh, in my other Kali box. So I'm going to copy these two files. And I'm going to put them on my Kali box. So you can see here that I've probably got some old ones already. So I'm just going to replace these uh, with our new ones. So from here, what we need to do is open our 
terminal. Let's have got here ready to go. And what I've got is a Python virtual environment set up in version 3.6. And what we're going to do is uh, use this tool, as you can see, I've called it uh, already this tool, which is ADFS spoof, which was released in conjunction with the ADFS dump to actually forge these SAML tokens. So, uh, so yeah, just building this command. So we're going to need Python 3.6. I need ADFS spoof. And so as you can see, I've actually got a copy in this folder. So you'd need to download this from the from GitHub. And we're going to use hyphen B. Um, this is for the two blobs that we extracted. So first of all, we've got the TKS.bin. And then we've got the DKM.bin. So we got the PFX. And then we got the actual private key. Um, and then we're going to use the server command. So this is actually just the domain that we got in our initial, um, in our output, uh, just back here on this screen. This is just our domain of the user or the domain that forwards onto ADFS. Um, then we put in O365 because we're actually, um, there's actually a template ready in here to utilize that for you. And then we got the EPN, which we know already again from our previous, which is ADA Fox. And I'm just going to compl auto complete this next bit as it's got the GUID in it as well. And so we have all of our details here on this one line. Now, if we run this, we should get out a nice response here. Uh, when I say response, it's more just an output. And what we're going to do is copy this entire section. And this is essentially our part of our request that we're going to make to Azure to sign in and impersonate our user. So now we've generated our golden SAML token, what we want to do is actually be able to use it. So to do this, uh, I'm going to use uh, Burp Suite, which I've just installed on my sorry, ADFS testing box. Um, this is mainly just because it's full screen, whereas my curly box isn't. So in here, what I currently got set up is we've got the proxy set up, which is just, you know, talking to 127001 and port 8080. Um, and then I've got the base request crafted here. So this is just going to the standard login.microsoftonline.com slash login SRF. Um, and this is just the base request with no info. So what we're going to do is you see down here we've got our, uh, parameters. And in our W result parameter, we are going to copy our SAML token from our Kali box here. And copy selection. And then we're just going to paste it in here and then just make sure there's no spaces at the end or new lines or anything. And that's all we need to do there. So I'm just going to send this request and it will ask me to input my host, which you can see here. The host is just login.microsoftonline.com. The port is 443 for HTTPS, and which use HTTPS. And then we send this, and then we get our response here. And then just to make this nice and easy, I'm going to request this in a current browser session, copy the link, and we'll take this over to here. So you can see we're not currently logged in as ADA Fox at all. And what we're going to do is we're going to paste in our Burp Suite uh, link here, which will take us to our actual session. And you can see that we've now bypassed the login for ADA Fox. And if I just do, you know, no for now, this will actually take us to like the sign in for, uh, for yeah, portal.microsoftonline.com. But you know, this could be any service that the user has inside. Uh, you know, you can now access absolutely anything as this user. And that is how we execute a golden SAML attack. Thanks. 
To find out more about attack strategies and how to defend against them, go to netrix.com attack.